Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. This is Stephanie, the hands, heart, and hair behind CornerstoneCreate.com. Today I'm going to be coloring with Artist Loft's alcohol markers. These can be found very easily in any Michaels store or on Michaels.com. And before anybody asks, no, Michaels is not endorsing this video, though I wish they would. Y'all know where to find me if y'all want to though, Michaels. I was inspired to make this card today by my friends Happy Crafty Cat and the Sunshine Crafter one on Instagram. Both of these ladies gave me wonderful gifts that I'll be using in this video today. Happy Crafty Cat gave me the stamp set that I've been having for a while and I actually have an older YouTube video where I showed that she gave it to me and I'll link that up above. The Happy Craft... Oh, mm. The Sunshine Crafter gave me some of the markers that I'll be using for, and she gave them to me for my up and coming birthday. So thank you ladies both. I really appreciate it and I want to dedicate this video to y'all. I put this stamp in my platform so that I could later ink this up with a darker ink. I'm starting off with Memento because Memento is an alcohol friendly ink, meaning that it's not going to smear once I start coloring it with my alcohol markers. So I know people will ask why am I using Artist Loft markers when there are so many more available and the answer is because I like practicing with them. They're really great markers to practice with and they don't cost as much as some of the other alternatives. So to me th these were perfect and they're readily available. I can walk into Michaels and get these at any point in time. I mean the other ones are just as readily available when you're talking about going into Michaels but I just like these. I mean I guess it just comes down to personal preference. At this point, most that I'm doing is going to be coloring. So I'll fill you in on t tiny details throughout the video as I'm coloring. But for the most part, I'm going to put on some soft, gentle music and you can follow along as you want. I'll also provide you with a timestamp so that you can go ahead and go to the card making part. But it's really, really simple. Most of this card focused on the coloring details. I'll also be providing you with the color names and the color numbers so that you can uh, duplicate this if you want to on your own coloring.
All right, I'm back. The coloring is over, but the card making has just begun. I'm placing this back in my platform. Like I said earlier, you need to leave your stamp in the platform so that when you come back to this part, you can just ink it up with, uh, I'm using Onyx Black Versafine. That's just to make the color, uh, let's just make the outlines more bold, stand out a little bit more. You know, Memento is not as dark as Versafine. And when I first started crafting, I didn't really understand that. I was thinking, you know, black is black. How, how isn't that dark? Yeah. Versafine is much darker than Memento. So that's why I left that stamp in the platform so that I could restamp it later with those darker lines. So I cut this out using my pink and main stitched rectangle dies. You can't really see the stitching on these now that it, now that it's gone through, but I liked it and it's something that you'll be able to see like up close and in real life. These pick and main dies have definitely become my favorite. I think I'm gonna have to get all of their um you know, all of their shaped dies, the ones that don't coordinate with the stamp. Like I I, I might have to do it. For my card all I cut out was a piece of cardstock that I had already had that coordinated with some of the colors that I used. I just cut about, I think it's about an inch and a quarter, and put that on the side, and I'm going to put my coloring right over it. And that's pretty much a finished card. I'm going to put a sentiment up here, and, uh, was, and that's going to be the end of this card. I really like the way it turned out, and I really want to thank Happy Crafty Cat for the stamp. I didn't, you know, like, I've used it, but just not on camera. And I really want to thank the Sunshine Crafter 1 for the markers. To put this stamp down, I'm going to be using my acrylic block. This is really risky. Like, normally by the time I get the card down to this level where it's done and I just want to put something on top of it, I normally like to break out my stamping platform. And that's just for safety because... I know I'll mess up a card, I'll drop an acrylic block with ink on it, well, with an inked up stamp on it and, you know, and ruin the whole project and have to reroute. But, you know, I guess I was feeling frisky today and decided that I was just going to use this acrylic block. So I am going to take some precautions and I'm going to stamp it on the scrap paper just to make sure that I'm not pressing down too hard, that the stamp doesn't jump or something or that, you know, I don't know, the stamps jump? They might. I, th I think my stamps jump. But yeah, so I'm going to stamp it over there, then I'm going to put it over where I want it to be. So thank you guys for being here with me today. I really like making this card. I really want to shout out the Sunshine Crafter and Happy Crafty Cat again. Thank you ladies so much. Um, like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And if you haven't seen my webpage, go to www.cornerstonecreate.com. Bye y'all.